So first of all, I'd like to welcome everyone. And today we're going to talk briefly about our project, Peep AI Baby. And we are going to explain to you guys some points that we think that is important. And for sure, I hope that you guys enjoy. And in the end of the voice chat, there will be a giveaway, $30 giveaway. So we'll stay until the end. The three best questions will win $10 each. So keep tuned on. And first of all, I would like to introduce our CEO. He, his name is Fabio. He will talk briefly a, a little bit about himself and the project itself, but he does not speak English. So I will later move on with the presentation, but I'd like to you guys to meet him at first to understand. I'm here only as a translator, so it's good for you guys to hear from the CEO himself. What are some points that will make this project really the first, the, the number one peep meme on BSC chain. Fábio, tá podendo falar por aí? Sim. Pode falar um pouco de você, pode ser em português mesmo, só se apresentar um pouco, falar um pouco do projeto. Boa tarde. É... Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Fabio. My name is Fabio. I'm the CEO. You can speak in Portuguese. I'll give you a translation for them later. Ah, that's good. And we're here with a new project, Meme Token, related to intelligence artificial. Esse projeto que nós estamos trazendo é né, um projeto que nós não vimos ainda no mercado. Já estamos trabalhando aí como uma empresa de marketing há alguns anos, é, podendo ver é, tantos projetos que entram e saem desse mercado. E nós estamos aqui trazendo algo inovador, é, tanto inovador na parte de inteligência artificial com o chat GPT, que nós estamos implementando e também teremos a evolução de tudo isso. É, colocamos tanto o chat GBT como um futuro metaverso e uma DEX para estar tá fazendo a usabilidade tanto dos NFTs que estamos, é, que estamos já à venda, tanto também como um stake, um stake de rendimentos para cada nível de raridade dos NFTs. Então, é, já temos hoje a plataforma de venda dos NFTs, estamos com, com, com planos, né? é, projeto de estar tá podendo, com 20 dias, colocar a nossa DEX de stake é, já em funcionamento. E iremos lançar é, na Azibit, uma é corretora um que também tem... A gente hum? vai dar nessas pausas para não ficar muito longo. Só que eu vou traduzir para o pessoal. Certo. So guys, basically what our CEO Fabio was telling us is that he worked as a marketing for a lot of projects and he is finally making his own project and that Peep AI Baby is something that he never saw before in the market itself. Not only because we have some uh, in artificial intelligence in our project itself as I can let me just show my screen here for you guys so you can actually see as you guys can see here we also we already have our own AI chat that can answer you based on the uh, on, on the personality of which character you are chatting with and we are making other AI related stuff like our own metaverse and our NFTs as you guys can see here they are already minted on OpenSeal for sale we are not making a lot of market on our NFTs yet it's a thing that we'll make after the launch but we already have everything set up and as you can see each NFT have their own rarity and I'll talk more about that later but just for you guys to understand we are also creating a DEX that will be soon available for you guys and the person who own one of these NFTs each of each of them will have a, 
a different pool in a stake uh, based on the the rarity of your nft but if you own one of these nfts you'll be able to join our staking pool and will be soon few days after we will be ready few days after our launch now our fio will talk a bit more and i will translate again pode falar um pouco mais pode continuar beleza então nós estamos trazendo nessa né, inteligência artificial com uma inovação nessa parte de usabilidade tanto do chat gpt quanto do futuro jogo metaverso que nós estaremos implementando para estar tá dando é, usabilidade tanto no NFT quanto também na parte de queima do token. Então nós teremos uma, uma forma de estar tá queimando o token. A cada compra e a cada venda, o token será queimado, isso trazendo escassez e, e aumento no valor do nosso token. É, o nosso plano de vendas é 5%, tanto para compra quanto para venda do token. Isso trazendo uma taxa menor dessas que nós vemos no mercado aí, que está é, a maioria dos tokens que vendem é, 10% tanto para compra como 10% tanto para venda. Então nós queremos trazer não só um token inovador, mas também trazer credibilidade e, e trazer para que os investidores é, tenham a, a vontade de poder entrar e não só entrar para pagar taxas, mas a, a, a entrar para poder fazer parte da comunidade e fazer com que cada dia esse token se torne escarso e nós consigamos entrar nesse mundo metaverso, nesse mundo é, de inteligência artificial, nesse mundo de NFT, que está voltando novamente né, com toda a força e queremos é, trazer uma comunidade que confia, que possa ver esse token, não só porque o nome é Pepe, de muitos tokens que saem com o nome Pepe, mas um, um nome que venha para ficar marcado. Por isso que nós colocamos até o nome do nosso token Baby, porque nós sabemos que o, o, o Baby Doge é, até hoje está no mercado, nem sempre as memes vieram para morrer, como muitos dizem, né? Mas nós viemos para ser igual a Baby Doge, para que fique no mercado, para que tenha uma comunidade que, que acredita no projeto. Por isso que colocamos até essa parte, como falo novamente, de taxas baixas. É porque nós não estamos aqui para ganhar em cima dos investidores, mas estamos aqui para criar algo sólido e duradouro. Pode falar, Anderson. Ok, isso é muito interessante. Uh, Fábio, just disse um pouco sobre como ele vê see this coin in the future and just like baby dodge the example he used himself we had a lot of potential to grow not only because we are a meme coin but because we actually have plans and structures to make it possible for us to reach a higher place because if you guys check now on pink sale there will be a lot of other peep coin for sale we are going to work on pink sale as well and what makes your different that's a question that investors always ask and if one of the first things that the team just thought when creating now of this and we have some things that really make us different and that can make pep ai baby a clear way to be the first one meme coin the first one the the number one peep meme coin on bnb chain uh, as fabio was saying himself not only we have artificial intelligence itself but a team that has uh, experience in marketing of tokens itself and have experience for example working with tier one sex and other decks rather than pancake swap and we can uh, in the future also think in the possibility of making a bridge to work on other chains but just for you guys to understand a bit more about everything I'm talking about. I will go to, to a presentation as soon as Fabio finishes introducing himself. But that's it. Uh, tem mais alguma coisa que você queira falar, Fabio, para o pessoal? Não, eu, eu, eu creio que para aqueles que não conhecem ainda o projeto, é, é isso, né? É, sobre as NFTs, nós estamos estudando, né? É, na parte mais inovadora do que está chegando aí sobre NFTs para poder colocar isso no mercado. Estamos com, essa, com essas NFTs, mas também teremos as NFTs que virá do parceiro nosso, 
que está fazendo, né, que vai garantir as nossas FTs referente ao KYC. É, estaremos, então, colocando mais NFTs com raridades maiores. Então, quem conseguir e quiser comprar nesse primeiro momento, é, terá mais para frente um, um rendimento melhor do que quem for comprar depois. Por isso que até tem poucas, né? Poucas NFTs que nós colocamos, fizemos. Então, assim, é, chamo vocês que estão ouvindo e aqueles que vocês conhecem para esse novo projeto. É, somos uma equipe que trabalhamos já há algum tempo nos bastidores de muitos projetos por aí. Queremos inovar, trazer tanto para o mercado de criptografia e criptomoedas uma credibilidade com uma equipe que é honesta, que quer também não, não pensa só em poder construir uma comunidade, né? mas trazer para os investidores um rendimento e uma confiança que temos projetos sim, sinceros, projetos que é, o CEO e a equipe pensa é, nos investidores e se não nós não estávamos né, mostrando a cara aqui fazendo essa ama e falando que, que uma das partes da equipe é brasileira e só que somos uma, pessoas honestas que queremos trazer tanto para o mercado quanto para o mundo algo que vai ser sólido e duradouro. Essas são minhas palavras. Obrigado, pode continuar aí. E que Deus nos abençoe e faça nós prosperar nesse novo tempo aí de investimentos e de essa, esse hype de memes aí. Obrigado. Ok, então o nosso CEO já disse que ele está tentando fazer algo diferente As I told you guys, the team that's making the marketing of this project, they have a lot of experience. They already helped uh, other meme coins on Pink Sale and other projects as well. Even me, myself, I been working with crypto for more than three years. So I have a lot of experience, especially related to Pink Sale marketing. So just for you guys to understand what Fabio is trying to say is that We have the experience, but we want to really make something good for our investors and not only for us. We think that the biggest problem of the projects nowadays is that the, the CEO or the team always think we will make a good launch and we will make money from it and that's it. And we can't stop there. After the launch, there is a long way you need to go to really become the number one, to really have a great project. So we already have plans for our post launch, uh, which channels we will go, which uh, YouTubers we will work with, what we are going to make, the giveaways we are making, as I told you guys earlier, we already have the NFTs and everything is ready. We are not making a huge marketing about it now because we are going to focus on our token launch, but we have plans for the future. This is a important thing that every project should have. When you are making a project, you sit down with your team and you discuss Uh, whether what you guys are going to do, where you're going to be lifted, what are you going to do after the launch, before the launch, during the launch, and if things go this way or that. Uh, so this is a thing that this team made and they fought a lot of everything before really putting it here. And the thing, the, one of the most important things that I see in Fabio and that he said now is especially this, these guys are trying to make we are trying to make something good for our investors we think in our investors so we think um we, i never saw even something that this guy are going to make to help the project in other projects for example they are thinking in which sex they are already uh, in conversation on, in, with which sex they are going to be in and they really are going to be on that even part of the fair launch that is for the, the devs and everything they are going to pick the, the, the biggest part of it and put into the token again to pay sex and marketing and guys this is a thing that um, really makes the difference when you are working with people that are honest that they want to make the thing goes well that's the first step to really be successful in this market so first of all I think that All of this that Fabio said is really important to the project. It's important for you guys to get to know him and how he thinks and what are, are the ideas that move him, that instigated him to create this project. And as I told you, we are going now to go into a presentation a bit more about the project itself, the tokenomics, the taxes, our roadmap, 
so you guys can get to know a bit more of what we planned so first of all as you can see here we are peep ai baby and we are going following the trend of peep meme coin that was recently listed on binance as you guys know and we are launching our own coin a baby coin just like uh, baby dodge we got a lot inspired by baby dodge because it's a uh, a meme coin as well that is a baby but it's a, a huge coin although it's a baby coin and if you guys really look at bnb chain now there is not a number one pip meme coin such as in ethereum chain so when there is not a number one you can be this number one it is easier for you to be the most popular coin if there is not another that have the same name is already the number one so thinking of that, we really want to make this the number one peep meme on BNB chain. So as you guys can see here, you can see our contract. We already have audit. We are going through a QAC process with a trusted partner that soon will be available for you guys. You also can download our web or white paper here and can even check our first AI and even talk to our AI here, for example, I will explain even better for you. You can see here their personality. Uh, this one, for example, he knows a lot of art. He's an art expert. This is an esport expert. And each of these personalities, they influence the way you will receive your answer. And we also are going to implement a metaverse later that is going to work with AI, and you are going to be able to create uh, your own images and put there we are thinking in a space where influencers and artists will be able to put uh, in the uh, uh, every kind of art that they want in this metaverse and everyone will be able to see it besides that uh, I would like to keep showing for you guys our NFT is here we have three rarities common rare and legendary or common NFT <laughs> oh sorry for that but our common nft as you guys can see here it's 5 usdc and it will give you access to a special stake that will be released like uh 20 days after our launch because we will have our own decks on our website and we also have our rare nft that will give you also access to a special stake and to our metaverse and we also have our legendary nft that will give you access to the metaverse and also uh, will give you access to a special stake but keep in mind that the rarity of your nft will be a, a booster for your stake so if you have a common nft you have access to one pool that will pay uh, a she's amount for example an x amount and if you go f for a rare nft you have like 2x amount and that's it just an example to you guys to understand basically how it's going to work do not take these numbers in consideration well, the team is still finishing some details about this specifically but this stake is going to be really uh, interesting for you because it will not only offer uh, pep ai baby token but a lot of other benefits as well such as a group vip and all kinds of things that you can imagine things will reveal more about it later about our tokenomics itself you can see that our token has 1 trillion supply and 50 percent was already burned and we'll have for liquidity 50 percent uh, and for pre-sale 30 percent so basically, uh, no teams token here, or contract is here, you guys can check it out if you want to. Also, you can click on our, our audit link to see our contract was already audited by Bloxafu, a trusted partner as well. So, you guys can see that we have no team tokens, and everything is going to be used for pre-sale and liquidity. We have another thing that is very interesting that is low fees we have a five percent buy fee and a five percent sell fee that uh, it's not high they are low fees in my opinion 
and all of these fees they will be used to the project itself so for liquidity it will go back 60% for marketing it will be 20% and rewards will be also 20% these rewards are going to be BUSD rewards so if you hold our token you will win in your wallet BUSD just by holding it so it's a thing that I do like a lot in meme tokens when you can actually earn other coins based on its taxes and how things are going and it goes a lot back to liquidity because when you have um, a reward of this type you need to really be careful to not drain your liquidity out so thinking of this we made possible we wanted to make it possible to make our ecosystem a bit more sustainable and that's why we thought that even putting uh, for example 5% fee instead of 3 it would be better because if we give back to liquidity uh, we are not taking for example fees for ourselves it goes back for liquidity if we are giving it back for liquidity it will be better for the project than having a lower fee and still pay rewards in another coin like BUSD and do not have more going to liquidity than to rewards so that's the thing that we discussed and thought about it and I've seen a lot of projects that don't have this and in the end they always end up losing a lot of liquidity about this and the, the graphic can go up because they need to pay these rewards and it can become a thing that will harm your project in long term if you don't think well about this so that's why we made like this about our roadmap here guys um, as you can see we developed a smart contract and we are going to launch on uh, DEX or our first DEX that we will launch is Pancake Swap, and we also want to make our own AI chat we already had a version of it that is useful you guys can can actually go and ask questions and see yourself but we want to improve each more and make it more of a, one thing from us so it will have, for example, cryptocurrency related stuff that he will be able to answer you guys. He will be able to answer you guys about meme coins and specifically things like uh, meme coins, jokes and all these kind of things that is from our crypto world that uh, AI still don't know because it's really specific things. So you need to l teach them so they can actually be able to give these answers and these kind of things. That's where we join the AI part in our project that we want to develop. After the launch, we are going to be for sure on Coin Market, market Cap and Coin Geeko. And this is the thing that working with the right partners you can get for sure. And we are already in contact with these guys. So, uh, of course, official trusted partners verified. I only worked with KYC partners and with KYC projects, so it's really important for me to work with people that I can trust, that I know it's doing their best to make the project a success. Because it's not a, uh, of course, no one wants a project to end, but we are in a high risk market. We need to know that everything is possible here. As you can go high, really high, you can go really down in a few minutes. We all seen this before. But when you have a team that is trustable, that you know that people are trying to make the right things, that have the experience, because it's really important to have experience and work with, uh, have worked with other projects. And for example, I work, uh, I've been working a lot with Pink Sale in this last year. So I know how things work. I, I know how I can reach people there. It's important for you to have this experience before releasing a project of your own. And RCO, He's been doing the same way, but not specifically about Pink Sale, but launching projects as well. And he has this experience and he has a marketing team supporting him that also have this experience. And this is one also another step for a project to be successful. We are going to work with top tier influencers. Um, we are getting closer to our Pink Sale sale, press sale. So we are going to be on some huge tier 1 channels and tier 2 channels in, in the next days. You guys can keep following us. And we expect to 
really be bullish on our fail and fulfill our soft cap as soon as possible because we are making a huge marketing and you guys can expect a lot of this project keep supporting us uh, we are going to make the giveaway now we are going to open for questions you guys can type in the voice in, in the chat or you can also uh, raise your hand i will mute you and you can ask your questions but keep supporting us keep following our project and take your own decision take your own conclusions but i just want to make an invite for you guys Get to know more about our project, keep following our EMAs, we are be giving giveaways so you can even receive some BUSD just for being here listening to our project, ask your questions, and if this makes f sense for you, uh, then you invest, because I, I always like to be this transparent with investors, only invest in something that makes sense for you, that you see that can really uh, be something that you can hold or if you want to trade that you can trade at this moment but always study the project that you are uh, going to invest not because do not think that because i'm saying here bye 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 you guys need to go blindly and buy it do your own research take a look at our project at our white paper and if it makes sense for you if you like it if you think that we can really make it then you invest on, and give us your trust i would love, just like to point out that some opportunities they do not go in your door twice if you know what i mean you sometimes lose the opportunity to make for example 20 x of what you you just bought in a pre-sale and that's not a thing that we, we how can i say it it won't kill you but it's really good to make some money so i do believe that this project is one project that has a huge potential that can make you really have a good result buying in our pre-sale so i'd like to invite you guys to not lose this opportunity because you do not have the opportunity to join a project with a experienced team like us every day a lot of projects down there they are trying they are new they never worked with marketing before they do not have the experience they do not know which partner they have to, to to join to have really success and you guys here have the opportunity in the first hand as you can see we are still developing a lot of things and really in the beginning of the project so the one that buys at this moment you guys support us to make the project better to upgrade our website to upgrade our ai to upgrade our telegram group to, up, to create more social media to have more people in the team and that's why you guys are the ones that take the higher risks but also the higher rewards and that's it i'd like to let this invitation for you guys and i will open for questions now you guys can raise your hand or type in the chat let me just check here So guys, you can raise your hands to ask a questions. It's going to be a giveaway thirty dollars. I will unmute now. Nanotech. Hello, Nanotech. Can you? Yeah. Guy, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. Thank you for this opportunity. So, uh, my question. I see you guys uh bringing ai strategies in this project so i want to know you know lots of updates are coming up in this ai so how do you plan to keep up to date with the latest updates on this ai project on ais that's an uh, interesting question they interesting question in fact uh nice to meet you well first of all ai is a really new thing although it's been developing it's been in development for a lot of years recently with chat gpt for example it got a lot of visibility and to keep updated about 
everything is really difficult, but it's part of our job to study as well, to really understand how these things are going and how we can work with it and especially how can we work with crypto in it. For example, there are a lot of people in crypto that already know how to use ChatGPT or Midjourney or all these kind of things. But one thing that our project work as well is the educational part. So we have our own YouTube channel and we have our social medias where we will release more information about uh, artificial intelligence and try to bring also more people to use our, uh, our own artificial intelligence at first, but later also other ones. But it's important when you give people information that are, is available information, things that they are looking for. For example, imagine that there is a guy here in our Telegram that ne never used the, an AI before and we teach him how to use it and he sees that it can actually help him in his work, make his work a lot faster, help him create a lot of things. And he will be glad for us for teaching him this. And this way, in this way, he will become uh, thankful for us and also starting using AI. So we can introduce people to AI, this is one important point of our project, by educating them. That's a thing that we are going to do. And also work in the same idea with blockchain. We are going to use our channels and our social medias and also the AI itself to reach people that are not from crypto to join our crypto world and to get to know how we are going to be able to use also AI in crypto and how they can start using crypto, how they can buy crypto, help him create a MetaMask if he don't know how, help him how to uh, create an account in an exchange if he don't know how and explain everything to people. In this way, you eliminate the barriers that people think usually think when they do not intend to do something. Like, for example, I do this later, I will work on this later, I'll invest later. So that's an important point for us to bring more people to use AI and crypto itself and our project to work uh, hard on this. And to keep updated, as you asked, we really need to keep studying all day, all the time, because if you don't study every day, it can be in everything that you work, not only crypto or, for example, I used to teach kickbox. I am a black belt. When I stopped studying kickbox, not when I stopped training, when I stopped studying, I kind of felt that I wasn't that good anymore. Because when I first got my black belt, I always studied every day. When I mean study, you need to go to YouTube videos and study uh, how you can improve yourself. Because if you keep training without studying, you won't go any further. And that's the, basically the same thing in, in every job that you have or uh, in everything that you do in life. And this is not different. We need really to keep updated on AI and how we can use and integrate it with crypto and teach people how it works and bring specialists in AI, people that have the knowledge of technology and things that I may not know, and chat with them and get to know more about it and always keep updated. I hope this answers your question. Yeah, that's, that's a really, really good answer. I really love your explanation. And um, I love the utilities you guys provide. So um, my last question, <laughs> I'm just curious, like, what... What if the paper trees, paper tree dies? What would be the next phase? What would be the next plan for this project? Well, we have actually, in, we already have some things planned. Other we are still discussing. I will tell you about the things that we already have planned. So, first of all, we are going to be on Nesbit in like one month after the launch. That's an important thing for a project being no sex. We also have our NFTs and our NFTs stake that will be released a few days after the launch also. And we have also a plan for marketing right after launch that we will work with some huge channels. We will make some marketing with influencers, everything that we know can bring us a good result after our, our launch. And in the long run, we are we are developing our own metaverse and also our own nft game we 
the team we recently been seeing a lot of uh, things about NFT games and perhaps it will be back soon the the NFT games hype I believe in this so we are also developing our game but that is really more for the future but for now we have as I told you the stake the metaverse and also plans to build in this game with uh, Pep AI Baby thematic. Okay, okay. Um, thank you very much, Pep AI Baby, and thank you, Pep CEO, for the explanation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your questions. So, guys, one more question, please. I will unmute here, um, Joan. Can you hear me, John? Yeah, hello, hello, everyone. Am I audible? Yes. All right. Um, so my question for you today is, uh, going to your website, I can see uh, others can earn passive rewards through static reflection. So I want to know in what ways do I get um, entitled to this reward? Do I need to owe your tokens to be entitled? Do I, do I need to owe a particular amount of your token to, to be entitled to it? Well, you do not need to hold a specifically amount. You Just by holding it, you, you receive. But based on how much tokens you have, higher are the rewards. So uh, I explained a bit earlier about this. As you can see on our tokenomics, 60% goes for liquidity, uh, especially to pay these BUSD reflections because when you don't have a system going back to your liquidity and you pay um, uh, another coin it sometimes can harm your project so we have 20% of our, of our fees that are 5% for buying and 5% for filling as rewards for our holders you don't need to have any specific amount of tokens if you have one dollar or cents of our cents of dollar of our token we will receive as well but if you have, for example, one BNB, you receive more, and just by holding it, you receive it directly in your wallet. And if you want to sell the token later, or if you want to keep holding, you still have your BUSD in your wallet. It's really a, a reward that you win. I don't know if you ever saw a project with this before. It's a common thing in, in meme coins, and I, I like it a lot because you buy the token and in the first day, there is uh, all these transactions because it, it just has launched and we you actually win a lot of BUSD as reward just by having the token there. Yeah, I think that's actually a very great uh, system. I think that's a great one. So um, the second question for you, I would like to ask is about uh, going to your website. I can see you allocated 55% to burning. So I want to know how will your burning mechanism work? Well, um, I'm not an expert in the smart contract, but it's a pretty common burn mechanism I'll try to explain for you guys. Uh, the owner of the contract, he just sent you a dead wallet already 50%. So we already burned before the launch itself out of the supply. To, and also the contract will be renounced right after the launch. So you guys can chill about this. Everything is already done and set up to bring more trustable for you guys. So moving on to, I, yeah. I appreciate our questions, John. All right, all right. thank you for your response. Uh, it's a great one. Thank you very much. Appreciate, man. Uh, moving to the last questions, I will unmute here. Yellow lip. You can ask Okay, your... you can hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, thanks for the opportunity. Um basically i just want to bring out something into the project which is like a suggestion to the project basically so what i'm trying to ask is basically i don't know if you guys have this in plan or basically if you guys are doing it in the future so basically what i'm trying to ask is let's say for example you guys will be making it and 
educational videos to the project. You know, basically, you know, most projects in the crypto space do some videos, but this is not just a random video because this is a project, you know, more people will be involved. So the project, the video I'm talking about is a way you guys will be explaining to us what you guys are doing and what you guys have done. And you guys doing the video in different languages, like in China, France, and Indonesia. And posting the video in different social medias, like in YouTube, TikTok, and Twitter, for users who are not in the crypto space and can't see the video and want to be involved in the project. You know, basically that will help involving the project in different languages and also involving the project in multiple people coming into the project because it's a fantastic project you know basically more people want to be involved so i don't know if you guys will be working that in the future or you guys have that in plan that's my question thanks so much well that's a uh, interesting advice and it's a thing that we've been discussing a lot i think that when you are making a meme coin and you really want to be the number one you have to reach everyone and i know i know that china for example is a really close market and you have to have someone that speaks chinese just just like uh, in brazil if you do not speak portuguese you won't be able to reach the market itself by only speaking english and there are a lot of countries such as vietnam and countries that buy a lot of crypto that we want to reach them and we are for sure already taking some decisions about this for our future for example uh, as you told yourself it's important to work with TikTok that is a social media that can really reach a lot of people and can really make you trend and we also we also have plans for this as well uh, we are studying some TikTokers and first of all we are thinking in the ones that speak English because it's really hard for for us that do not speak Chinese or do not speak other language to go into a specifically influencer that only speak this language sometimes even the influencer doesn't speak English as well but we need to get along with people for example there is a guy that I know that makes uh, marketing for China he is a trusted a partner, a verified partner that we can, for example, after our launch, when we have more money, invest in a Chinese community, we have these plans, or in a Turkish community. These are things that are really important to not only to make videos and explain more, but we can also start in our Telegram, creating uh, other Telegram communities. And from these communities, we can take people to our videos to help us by commenting on them and asking their opinion how we can improve it and in their own language language I mean and our community will be able to help us to grow and to reach uh, worldwide that's not an easy task I know it's not an easy task but I think it's the right way to make a meme coin is to work along with your community and try to reach as many places as you can as you told yourself this is really important and to really be able to be the the number one to actually um, become the number one peep meme on bsc we need to make a lot of things still we need to improve a lot of things on our website a lot of things can be improved for real but we we for launch going well we are going to make this improvement and i invite everyone here every every member of our community to help us and to make this possible because without our community we, we won't be able to make this the number one peak meme coin so it's a interesting question that you asked yourself and also as i said a good advice and we are for sure looking in this way as well and i'd like to ask you guys here to help us make this possible and always as we can we are going to reward our community with emas with uh, giveaways with nfts you guys can join our next voice chats to uh, earn some M nfts as well we are going to give away some of them and that's it i hope it answers your question okay yeah i'll say that's a great answer in the couple of questions i got to ask but i'll give it to people who have more opportunity to ask and i'll say i love the way you answer this question i will also be involved in the way the project has been going and i'll be looking onto what you guys are doing i'll say 
I love the project and I will stay tuned and see the future of the project. I wish you guys the best of luck and thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for your questions and guys, I know we are going to ha have to close our chat soon. Uh, I'll just have one more question and if you guys still have questions, feel free to DM me or to ask in our group or also, as I told you, join our next voice chat. We are going to have a lot of voice chats in our group in the uh, next few days. Feel free to join here. We are going to win not only BUSD, but also NFTs that, I, as I told you, will be able to uh, make you join a stake that you'll be actually receiving some tokens and a lot of other stuff that will be reviewed later. And for the last question, I will unmute here, Crypto Rever, you can ask your question. Hello guys, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Mm. Uh, so my question is, uh, all the goals of your project is absolutely great. Uh, but one of the main factor you're looking for in the crypto project is the crypto project is the use cases of the token. Mm, so what are the use cases of uh, Baby token in your platform? What are you plan to increase the adoption of PayPay Baby token? Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you for your question. We had a lot of great questions here today and i think that is important to well every project has it own how can i say how can i explain to you its own most important uh, pillars that will help it the to to keep structure it so first of all we are work, working with a meme coin and a meme coin really do not have so much of uh, use usually we have some useful case for our token, like for example, to access our metaverse later in future to buy other NFTs collection, you need to use the token. You need to use the token also to uh, join other AI things that we are making. I reveal later for you guys in other voice chats. So we have this usability for our token, but I do not think that in this case of our project, it is the main thing about our token. Since it's a meme coin, we are really working on marketing and in the adoption of other people to our token. So, for example, we are going to make some videos in YouTube, on uh, Instagram, on TikTok, on TikTok itself, explaining for people that are not from crypto how to join crypto. And that's an important thing. Or people that are only on Ethereum chain, Ethereum chain, or other chain that's not BNB chain, how they can join BNB chain, and perhaps if we can give away an NFT for them, and they will come to see this NFT and join the project, we will make it attractive for people that's not from our crypto world, not from our Telegram here that you guys know are always the same people to join our market and join our project. And for this, an uh, important thing to reach these people is to, as I was explaining earlier, is to educate them. Because when people don't know something, they usually think, oh, I'll do this later, or they like to, uh, they create an excuse not to make it. And if you make it easier for them to join your project, for example, if uh, someone is not from BNB chain, oh, but how do I uh, join BNB chain in MetaMask? You teach them uh, in a simple 30 seconds videos how to join BNB chain, he won't have this problem anymore and he'll be more, um, how can I say, he'll be more into joining this chain because you eliminated that barrier that would make him not want to. So that's, uh, this is the concept I, I, I'm trying to explain to you and we work this in different ways and different uh, levels. But basically, we need to make this with as much people as we can. Not only people from other chains, but people that aren't from crypto. Uh, and from people that aren't from crypto, there are a lot of people. So we need to aim at people that usually invest in crypto. Uh, for example, 
the majority of crypto investors are men. They are from 20 to uh, 35 years. We have to take in consideration these things to be more precise when we are doing our marketing. But just for, for you to understand the big picture, we are going into this big these people that are not uh, random people, people that are most likely to invest in crypto that do not invest, maybe people that invest in other kind of things. And we show our project to them and teach them some things about crypto itself and invite them to our project. And that's the thing that I truly believe all meme coins should work on because it's uh, one market that really makes um, people into your project. Every time you teach people available information that they are looking for it, for example, how to create a MetaMask, if you teach them this and they want to know this, they will be grateful and they will probably be more likely to join your project. So that's a marketing concept and that's a thing that we are basing a lot of our project itself, our structure, because we know that this can bring a lot of new people and with new people joining in the people that is already in the market here for sure will be joining um i hope this answer your question uh -huh. really really great project yeah thank you sir to the moon ppi baby <laughs> to the moon my friend thank you for your question so guys thank you i'll end our voice chat here it was really a pleasure being here answering these questions you guys for sure had great questions and i know there are still people with their hands up and i'd like to invite you guys to join our next vma as i told you you are going to have a lot of giveaways in this next week and a lot of uh new things that we are going to review so keep turning it on keep following us on our social medias we are going to have some also special giveaways that won't be related to voice chat. We'll be able to do it by only commenting on our YouTube channel or stuff like this. So keep following us, keep supporting us. And I would like just to uh, have our CEO to give some final words for our community here. Fabio, você poderia falar só as palavras finais aí para encerrarmos? Com certeza. É, quero primeiramente agradecer a comunidade é, Recebi muitas perguntas aqui Eu estou respondendo no próprio grupo é, Muitas perguntas até boas e cabíveis Para novos investidores estar entrando no projeto Uma delas é Qual será o, o andamento é, Depois do lançamento do token Aí eu quero que você esclareça para eles aí Estamos com, com alguns... É, pensamentos né, e projetos de retornos em cima daquilo que for feito na Farlauch que é de poder listar nas maiores é, corretoras que, que tiver ao alcance do projeto para que esse projeto não só é, seja uma, uma explosão no lançamento, mas que seja algo sólido, então é, nós já, já estudamos já estamos fazendo isso, colocando é, no projeto é, é, esses custos né, que já, estarei, já estará separado para que tenha essa, esse retorno tanto para a comunidade quanto para o projeto estaremos investindo em, em novas tecnologias que possam agregar tanto valor e crescimento para o nosso projeto esse é o nosso pensamento, estou falando isso porque foi muitas perguntas sobre isso então depois que sair da Pink Sale e for para a PancakeSwap é, estamos com o pensamento de colocar na BitJet, na Avasbit, é, e entre outras, que venha trazer tanto é, visibilidade como investidores para que é, o nosso projeto venha a crescer. E uma das perguntas também que foram feitas, é, oh, todo o nosso projeto tem um valor de... Aqui, senão fica... hum. eu acabo esquecendo. Tá oh, bom, tá bom. Guys, uh, I asked Darcio to give some final words for you here, and he was telling first of all uh, thanks for everyone that was here in our voice chat it's really important for us to build a strong community and as i told you guys you will be needing your help to really make this the number one peep meme coin and we can only make with you guys and we have a lot of plans uh, this is the ceo talking himself that we have a lot of plans 
for after our launch to be on BitGet and also SBIT and also a marketing plan to be on huge channels like um, I won't tell you for you guys now, now but we have some huge tier one channels for our post launch so that it is telling the important the importance of having these plans because it's not a project to die in one month you know we are really uh, working hard and planning everything to make it a project that will be here for as long as we also are here in the crypto market we are not never going to abandon this project we are always going to make it uh, everything we're going, we're going to always make everything that's possible for it to be the number one peep meme coin um, and that's it that's the now he is going to explain another question i'm going to translate for you guys pode falar aí mas desculpa até falar de cortar não tá certo tem que na hora de traduzir tem que se você perder o que eu falei não dá então assim como eu falei nós vamos estar colocando é, em algumas corretoras é, e com esse investimento que nós cremos que vai vir de bastante investidores, iremos estar usando é, o pensamento nosso é de 70% para o token, é, algo não visto é, nesses últimos tempos. É, de você, além de voltar 51% para liquidez, você tirar mais 20% para poder estar tá recomprando e investindo em marketing, em, em, investindo em novas é, atualizações. Da, do nosso plano de inteligência artificial isso é uma palavra e uma garantia minha de poder colocar 70% de tudo aquilo que entrar no token o que, que é 70%? é o 51% que já vai diretamente do, da Pink Sale para a PancakeSwap né? para a liquidez do projeto e mais 20% que vai ser o valor que nós iremos estar utilizando para recompra e queima fora é, a o, o, o marketing, que nós vamos estar investindo no marketing pesado para que todos venham conhecer o projeto e também investir tudo isso numa, numa DEX, que é a DEX que vai fazer os stakes do, de cada NFT. É, então vai ter um stake de NFT com rendimentos e também vamos estar investindo nessa parte da inteligência artificial em num ecossistema que possa dar tanto como usabilidade para o token como para o NFTs e trazer escassez também para o token. Então nós estamos com esse pensamento de poder colocar algo tanto na inteligência artificial quanto no stake, algo que, traza, que traga para o nosso token uma escassez. Então minhas palavras são essas, é, logo mais estaremos é, colocando em Farlauch, e sabemos que é, iremos ter êxito nesse projeto. Confiamos na comunidade, em vocês que estão aqui e em muitos que são investidores aí fora. Damos essa garantia de estar tá podendo fazer com que esse token alcance o mundo, como foi essas perguntas. Iremos investir para isso e contamos com vocês. Obrigado. So, guys. Uh... So, uh, he told a little bit about that uh, our plans for our post launch that we are going to not only give 51% for liquidity but also the majority uh, of what we are getting for the team itself of course the team is going to take a, a part for uh, of it uh, a small amount of it but we are going to utilize the biggest amount the majority part of what we get to actually using the token so we are going to rebuy the token we are not going to explain exactly when we are going to rebuy it because we can harm the project in this way and it's even not legal to act this way for example we are going to put this amount of bnb it's not like this but we are going to rebuy constantly the token we have some uh, buyback programs already set up and we also have other plans to improve our artificial intelligence in the long term and to have the stakes that you guys will be able to uh, use it in the long term as well after our launch and all of the plans that we are making through this project is to really keep it alive and 
to make it uh, the number one on BNB chain because it's really important to think in the future. If you are making a project, as I even told this earlier, and you don't think in the future how you guys are going to do things or implement things, even when you think how you are going to do things, things do not happen in this way. It never happened in the way you think with crypto. <laughs> That's a, a funny thing, but it never happened the way you think. So you have to have not just a plan A, but a plan B and everything set up to really be able to give for the investors what they expect and what they deserve. And we, we always do our best to give you guys the best result, not only uh, giving uh, things that we promise, but also to make the token um, more available for you guys. We want to make this token more and more available each day. So that's pretty much it that RCO uh, said earlier. I just want to point out for you guys that oh I forgot to give John the the giveaway as well but I'll give for him now John I'm sorry I forgot your giveaway send me your uh, BEP20 wallet please and for the other guys I already sent the giveaway we end up uh, giving four dollars in giveaway because I opened for one more question because I saw that we had a lot of questions here and that's it guys, I'd like from my part to invite everyone to join our next events, not only voice chats, but we are going to have also some voice chats in future, uh, especially next next week. But we, I, I, we would like to invite you guys to join our other events as well. It's a great way for you to help the project and earn something from it. So keep turning it on. And that's it, John, you can send me the wallet and I'll send you. And tem mais alguma coisa, Fabio, que você gostaria de falar? Não, é só isso mesmo. Muito obrigado por cada um que ficou até esse momento aí nos ouvindo. Estou muito feliz pelas perguntas que foi feita, pelas, também pelos elogios. É, também por algumas perguntas que parece que pessoas entendem que fazer um projeto honesto é muito difícil. A, a pergunta que eu estou respondendo aqui foi quais, quais foram as dificuldades e as pedras que tiveram no caminho para que esse projeto pudesse chegar onde chegou, né? Eu falei que sempre tem, sempre tem as dificuldades e perguntou qual que foi as respostas. As respostas foi um caráter aprovado, é, uma fé e uma confiança na, na equipe que está por detrás do projeto, uma equipe que o, o principal objetivo é fazer que algo é, traga rendimento e estabilidade para o, o, o investidor. Esse é o nosso caráter e o nosso lema, né? É poder não ganhar dinheiro, mas fazer com que toda a comunidade e os investidores possam ter um retorno daquilo que eles estão investindo e confiando. Então essas são as minhas palavras. Não, foram, não foi fácil, mas vamos até o fim. E, e que a palavra que fique é que viemos para fazer a diferença. Obrigado. Tamo junto. Deus abençoe grandemente a vida de cada um. Our CEO just uh, was answering a last question that what, what, which one was your biggest challenge and he said that we had a lot of challenges and we actually had a lot of challenges in fact more than we actually needed to but we are not giving up on this project especially uh, we have challenges guys just for you to understand with uh, some stuff like creating our website nothing that really harmed the project or anything but we expected it to be uh, finished earlier and we had some problems to deliver some stuff in the time that we wanted to, but that does not do not make it a problem because we are not even with our fair launch open yet, so everything is according to the plan, but we have some problems uh, to deliver you guys everything ready. We, we expected to deliver it earlier, but as RCO told himself, it's not because of these problems or things that does not go as you expect that you can give up that does not make me makes any sense you know so at least for us the thing that he he said even himself that he wants you guys to remember is that although it may be difficult we we always be here and we always make the best for this token we are not giving up on it because we do believe we can make it a real huge thing with your your guys help so uh that's it i would like to thank everyone that joined our voice chat here and 
as always invite you guys to join orders and see you guys soon